On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Wednesday evening to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So, watch this now, my peeps. The first thing that we are going to talk about. Is a knockings and clappings that took place right in front of the Coronation Market, that's vicinity, Spanish Town Road and Pink Lane on Monday. Yeah, man, where this female presently on your screen identified by her name as Andrea Peterkin, but more popularly known in the streets of West Kingston as Apple. Now, Apple, a long standing and prominent resident of the Kingston Western community of Denham Town was taken out in a hail of bullets by armed criminal elements whilst sitting at her stall right in front of the Coronation Market main entrance vicinity of Pink Lane and Spanish Town Road. Now this comes because of what? Apple lost her spouse, a man known as Carlton in that very same vicinity little over or under a year ago carlton was in that same vicinity when he was taken out in a hail of bullets by criminal elements in the full view of apple now the criminal element that was caught by the police and placed behind bars is a known old knackis and clappis a real old dirty kind of boy known as Dudimats. Yeah, man. So Dudimats is presently behind bars. That's what he's affectionately called in the criminal underworld. Dudimats. And we all know what Dudimats mean in a Jamaican local criminal term. When a man say, yo, me got Dudimats, you don't know, say, he may got get whatsoever it is done. So he's that type of criminal. Now he's presently behind bars. It is said that Apple was threatened. Apple was also warned not to say anything about the demise of her spouse. Now tell me this, my peeps. I want each and every person listening to the voice of Andy Spot News Media to actually put themselves in the shoes of this female, Andrea Peterkin, otherwise known as Apple. You're there. You saw the faces of the criminal elements that took the life of your loved one. Whether it is a spouse, a brother, a sister, a child, a mother or a father. A loved one. Somebody that is close to you. Even a really close friend. You saw them carry out the act in your full view. They were caught by the police. Wouldn't you... Go identify them as the person that took your loved one's life. Would you just allow the life of your loved one to just go like that? Now when Apple's life was taken, I viewed some of the comments when her picture was posted under It's a Blast on Instagram. And some of the comments I can tell my peeps, sick drunk her stomach. Yeah man, some of these people are nothing but a set of criminal elements themselves criminal supporters but indirectly so because persons have the gall to say that the woman chat too much and her mouth makes you lose her life can you imagine how can you not say something when you saw a criminal element take the life of your loved one how can you not say anything? So these persons are no better than some of these human rights group who 
point fingers at the victims instead of the actual criminals who continues to wreak havoc on our society and members of Chan public. How can you blame Apple? It is said that she went to court the very same day when she was slaughtered in the streets of downtown Kingston. So instead of persons coming out against the criminal elements that took her life, they're slaughtering Apple's name in the comment section saying that her mouth makes you lose her life. This is the Jamaica that we are presently living in. We are people rather to point fingers at the victim than to actually point fingers at the criminals. And this is why these criminal elements continue to unleash wrath upon the members of Chan Public. And to the old Krasmite them and the old dirty kind of boy them, in the comment section under Apple's picture and it's a blast. I'm saying this to you who no won't understand. You will not understand until it comes knocking on your door. I really can't believe the level of dunceness in our country. The words coming from some of these people's mouth is atrocious, totally in shock and disbelief. But as I've always stated still, you know, nothing much in life frightens me anymore because everything that goes against what is right, principles, upliftment, Everything that is going in the right direction, people are against that. And trying to create a new norm. Well, they're not trying. They have successfully created a new norm and go against everything that is right and everything that has value in society. They are the total opposite of that. Because non-progressive element at that aware right you now. Yeah man. But anyway, make we continue. Now a knockings and clappings go on over there in the parish of St. Catherine. In the St. Catherine South Police Division to be more specific, Old Arbor. Where this man presently on your screen was taken out in a hail of bullets by criminal elements. On the night of November 10th, this took place at a place known as Marley Gates, just on the outskirts of Old Arbor. When his life was taken, not even the police could identify him. No one in the area really knew him because he was a stranger to that particular community. Well, he has since been identified as Davian Wilson. Yeah, man, said to be a resident of Seaview Gardens and his life was taken, as I stated, on November 10th, sometime in the night. Now, from reports received by the police is that sometime around 8.30 p.m. on that day in question, Davian Wilson was sitting on the outside of a premises with another man talking. It is said that he was accosted by armed criminal elements who would drag him into nearby bushes and can him up several times, leaving his body lifeless. It is said that after the gunshots rang out thereafter, the police was called in and his body was found lifeless in the bushes. The police stated that they have taken one man into custody so far that they believe can assist them with their investigations. Now, a person who does not wish to be named basically gave us a rundown of the man in question, Davian Wilson. The person stated that he's a highly qualified professional possessing a master's degree 
in business management and travels between Jamaica and Canada, where he's also a permanent resident. The person also stated that he travels to Canada and he is an executive board member of the Canadian Association of Urban Financial Professionals. He's also a contributor to the Canadian Sick Kids Foundation. It is said that he also sang as a backup singer with gospel artist Jermaine Edwards and he's said to be a devoted Christian man. Now, it is said that during his time in Jamaica, Davian Wilson also worked as a consultant with Scotiabank on its external credit and marketing portfolio. He was a supervisor at the planning office at his alma mater university, that is the University of the West Indies, and also a senior credit analysis at Grace Kennedy Cooperative Credit Union. The person also stated that he's presently in management consultancy and he travels between Jamaica and Canada because he's the main caregiver of his grandfather who is presently ill in Canada. It is said that he has been taking care of his grandfather and is the main caregiver that manages his grandfather's care and his grandfather's affairs. Now his grandfather had several strokes shortly before his passing and now his grandfather is not doing so well after learning that his caregiver, his beloved grandson, is no longer among the land of the living. So in essence, Davian Wilson was an upstanding Jamaican with wonderful human being qualities. He had a tight group of friends and family members, including his two siblings. It is said that he was not married, had no children, and both parents are still alive and living in Kingston. So it wasn't a little old dirty corner boy we get slaughter. No one have to wonder why was he targeted. It is said that he's not from the old Arba community and he visited a friend in that community. The same man that he was sitting on the outskirts of the yard talking to when he was taken by criminal elements and brutally conned up leaving him lifeless, no longer among the land of the living. No one need to take into consideration. The person stated that he's a very careful individual. So if he had gone to Old Arbor, it must mean that he trusted the person that he went there to visit. The person giving the information about who Davian Wilson is stated that he told them that he will be visiting a friend in Old Arbor on the Friday. It is said that he did not make mention of who the person was, so they don't know for sure who he went there to visit. So now, my friends, whole heap of people are weep and moan for this brother because he seems as if he's an upstanding citizen, not just of Jamaica land we love, but also in the diaspora of Canada. It is said that he's been mourned by Taylor Hall at the University of the West Indies. As he lived on Taylor Hall for several years whilst he attended the university. So anyone having information surrounding the lesser life of this man Please link up the Old Arbor Police Station. They will most definitely be grateful for the help to solve this particular murder. Yeah, man. So, you know, with my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.